All right, folks, show you a little bit of changing the final gear lube on a U35 Kubota mini excavator <coughs> today. It's pretty simple. I already did the other side, folks. Uh, first things first, these are $3,000 a piece. Don't put cheap fucking 90 weight gear lube in it. Buy the expensive shit. I'm using the fucking Lucas Synthetic 7590 gear oil, okay? So a lot of people, you can go put the cheap stuff in there. Put the $3 oil in there if you want. But these are $3,000 a piece, just to make you aware of. If anybody's watching this, it's got a machine that knows they're very expensive. <clears throat> so don't cheat yourself. It's not worth it. So it's pretty simple. Get a couple Allen keys here. I already broke these loose a little bit. These are pretty fucking tight. I use a jack handle and stuff to get them loose. So I'll start with the top one. Keep this shit out of the dirt. So they're pretty straightforward. They don't hold much oil. This one started here. Got me a little bucket here. Change the gear to oil. There's three holes in this unit. Bottom one's the drain. It's even marked on the final drive. Center one's the oil level. It's marked on the hole. Alright, folks. <clears throat> Take a little bit to drain. Yeah, I use the good synthetic stuff. Even put that in my gearbox and my zero turn Kubota mower also. Doesn't hold much. I think it's like 0 0.5 ounces per side. So one bottle gets you by both sides. It's pretty straightforward. Done filling up the drain here, folks. She start to fucking stop. Yeah, per the manual on these uh, Kubotas, I think it's like the first hundred hours, and then every five hundred hours. Uh, I recommend doing it every year or every hundred hours. It's cheap, unless you mind blowing up the. $3,000 final gears, you know, there's no filtration on these. Don't be cheap. Fucking everybody wants to be a tight ass. There's oil rings on here. I clean them up. I put a little lube on there for installing. I'll clean around the, the housings. There she is, folks. She's just dribbling. Take a pick. I always clean that shit out around from there. So always get some debris around that edge. There's no need to put that in back in the unit. Clean that ceiling face off there. These motherfuckers will last you a long time. Take care of them. My buddy's out at the ranch. They run it from the factory from the 60s and 70s. I'll pop off my bottle here. Put a little lube on there. These motherfuckers should be tight. Very tight. Alright. Take out your oil level plug. Put that off the side. Same thing. Clean that bullshit out of there. Make it nice and clean. Doesn't take very long, folks. About 10 15 minutes. And you're ready to rock. 
We're going to go fucking dig in the sandbox. Cut her back a little bit. Nice, slowly let her fill. Until it starts coming out of the hole here. Yeah, be patient with it. She'll come. She comes. Not level. Have like a zip tie or something. You can kind of check it, but you can see it in there. You probably can't see it on camera. But you can see it running out. I give it a second, make sure it's right at level, then I'll put the new plug in. A little oil on that O-ring. puke out a little bit because it's probably a little excess so it'll just level out in the bottom of that thread hole. That's all I need. Remember folks, put in the good stuff, not the cheap stuff. I'm using the Lucas Synthetic 7590. I recommend it. Or you put that cheap fucking ProTech fucking Walmart bullshit in. Here, somebody's calling me on the phone. Maybe they need a hole dug or something, folks. Maybe their fucking water line burst. I'll come. I'll call them back. Sitting there doing a voicemail. She'll slowly fucking come down the line. Put her in, torque them up, put oil on that o ring. There you have it, folks. Finished product.